listening to The Christy Clark Show on the Chorus Radio Network. Once again, here's Christy Clark. We just got a call from Mark Emery, Emery in prison. He's, uh, he's awaiting a trial. He's at the uh, North Fraser pre-trial. Of course, he's inviting people to come up and set up a tent city. The free Mark Emery uh, campaign. Are you going to be a part of it? What do you think about his comparison of himself to Martin Luther King, Vaclav Havel, Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi. For heaven's sakes, that's ridiculous. Mark Emery is out there defending a cause. I, 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 I believe he believes in it. But it's a cause of people who choose to break the law. It isn't like Martin Luther King, who defended the rights of people who, for no other reason than the color of their skin, the way they were born, were discriminated against. And it is totally different from defending Jews from the Nazis or Christians from from uh, in China. I mean, it is totally different. It is not a basic human right to be able to use drugs. 604-280-9898, star 9898 on your cell phone. Jody Emery, hello, nice to hear from you. Hi, well, thanks for having me on again. Good. Uh, first of all, uh, well, it's Jody Emery, Mark's wife. And Mark is not fighting for people's right to get high. Mark is fighting for the right of people to not go to jail. Don't you find it absurd that people who grow plants or deal with marijuana can have their house taken, can have their children taken, can lose their job? I mean, murderers and rapists don't lose their homes to the government and police. They don't lose their children in the same way. They don't lose their jobs and get treated like outcasts. There are many people who simply want to use a substance which is safer than alcohol in the privacy of their own homes. And yet the government, I know you're not a big fan of big government, they expand into our privacy and our lives. They invade people's homes and they take away people's rights. Now, Jody, I think there are a lot of things that are bizarre about our justice system, like letting gangsters walk the streets to get shot in residential neighborhoods and all the rest of it. But I don't think it's bizarre that in a society where we've decided that uh, drug use is something bad, that people can go to jail for having a grow up. I don't think that's bizarre. But most people that go to jail, there's even people for possession. And the government tries to seize their homes. Now, why would it be a problem? Most grow ups, people don't even know they exist. They only know it when the police come and raid it and make a big scene. But clearly there is no ill effect on the neighborhoods around these houses. Now, some of them are bad. Some of them are run by people just out to make a buck. And the only reason they can make a big buck is because it's illegal and they can sell it to the criminal market. But those people are the ones making a risk to society. And grow-ups only exist and grow rips and gangsters. And all of this violence only exists because of prohibition. It's exactly like alcohol prohibition. And we've seen it getting worse in the United States states and in america and they're turning it into a prison state but no matter how many police or even the military they put out the corruption runs deep the murders keep happening and jody and jody i have to leave it there with you because i have a full phone board i'm delighted you phoned in but i can't i can't uh, I, I have to let some callers through too scott hi hi how are you Christy? G- good thanks good you showed a really uh, incredible amount of patience with uh, <laughs> with, uh with mark and i I do agree with uh, with your uh, viewpoints. I, I, he's definitely committed to what he's doing, uh, and I have no doubt that he 100% believes in what he's doing. I think uh, it's a huge stretch to compare him to uh, to Nelson. Mandela. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Nelson Mandela was trying to free oppressed people who were oppressed by just by the nature of the color of their skin. Yeah, and and as soon as they change the laws here, by all means, but uh, to to say. You know that is being oppressed or, or what have you, but as long as this is the law, unfortunately, that's the way it works. You yeah. want to change the law, you change the law. And in the last, I don't know how many years, there's been a, a pro- pro- progression towards that. There have been discussions towards it. There's medicinal uh, marijuana and such. That didn't happen 15 years ago, so it is getting that way. I, I agree. I mean, I, you know, you want to change the law, go and change it, but you may have to pay some consequences in the meantime, which is what he's doing. Morgan, hi. Hello. I'm calling, uh, I totally disagree with you. Like, I think that you were really unfair to Mark on the phone. And, uh, I really think that the, like, the conservative government could have charged him here, but totally.